Welcome. Thank you for being here with us. I am Elena Pasoli, director of the Bologna Children's Book Fair. And it's my pleasure now to talk about uh, the Guest of Honor Country event. So I'm, I'm sure that you have enjoyed a lot uh, the participation of Slovenia. I wish to congratulate uh, with uh, our Slovenian friends and partners because uh, doing two participation as Guest of Honor in six months uh, is uh, something that is more than a challenge. And they did it so well. I enjoyed, and I'm sure you did as well, so much the exhibition of illustrators, uh, as well as the stand, all the activities, the panels, uh, the conference uh, today at the Sala Borsa in the city center. So a big, big thank you to Slovenia. But now the fair is uh, close to its end. Uh, tomorrow, you know, we have just uh, the morning and a bit of the afternoon, but I see that uh, people uh, are more or less uh, starting to pack a little bit. And so it could be a bit of a melancholy, but uh, to fight against that, let's look at the future. And the future is the next guest of honor country, Estonia. And a big round of applause. <laughs> No need to say how huge is their tradition in children's books, illustration, and, uh, and uh, literature. I, it was my big pleasure to uh, be with them in Tallinn last uh, autumn, and I was really amazed by their children's literature center, by all they showed me, and a wonderful uh, contest of illustration with a wonderful event uh, in the library. So uh, I'm already very, very, very curious uh, to know what uh, they are planning to do. And it is my great pleasure to introduce to you Asta Trummel, who will be the first uh, uh, Estonian friend uh, to tell us about Thank you so much. Um, it has been uh, quite a dream and long dream to uh, come to Bologna. And thank you, Elena, for inviting us. That's a huge honor. So you see, we can make noise. <laughs> um, Estonia is a tiny country just like Slovenia. Um, we can measure ourselves so that uh, we are double the territory, but uh, half of the people, so we have to try harder. Um, although the population of Estonia is just 1.3 million, uh, the Estonian language speakers are slightly less than a million, so you can understand what a challenge it is to uh, keep up the tradition of literature and language. Um, but um, Estonia is um, clever, and um, as we are um, called also um, small and smart. Um, you can see all the facts about Estonia on the slide, so I won't, um, I won't um, tell you about them. And you are all welcome to Estonia to uh, to experience that yourself. Um, Estonia, meaning small and smart, starts with our constitution, where culture is already mentioned in the first paragraph. Um, a writer has um, said that a nation starts with a book, and I think that is quite true. Um, Estonia is celebrating next year uh, also 500 years of the first Estonian language book. So we are actually having a big celebration here in, in Bologna. Um, but 
we can boast with very many exciting um, details, like, for example, Estonia has the world's largest collection of written down uh, folklore uh, verses, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of them. So, and we can say that this tradition has also um, been a basis of our uh, song festival tradition, which brings the country together, the nation together. So, to give you an example, you can see it on the photo, but uh, there are more than 35 singers, 1,000 singers, and 100,000 uh, listeners to the song festival. These are the traditions, books, literature, song festivals, are just milestones what uh, Estonian cultural tradition is all about. Um, but we can also be really proud of uh, our um, culture enjoying nation because there are um, so many concert visits, over two million uh, visits. If you bear in mind that we are only 1.3 million people, so, and theatre goers are uh, 2.5, and uh, there are over slightly less than uh, 900 libraries all over the country. and. Uh, 500 of them belong to the municipalities, and almost every school has a library. Um, if they are not, at the moment, very viable, they um, merge with a local library. So the reading tradition is really, really important. Um, and we can be proud of our young people, because young people are the future. Um, they are in their PISA tests, OSCD, uh, keeps track and measures how well um, young people read and know their maths and sciences. Well, in Europe, Estonia is the first in maths and sciences and second to Ireland, so we, we have one more place to go. Um, and worldwide, we are also in quite good positions. Um, I think Estonia is quite... The government of Estonia is also quite uh, supportive of culture, although we have, can always say we can do more and more and more. But um, the Ministry of Culture um, supports different organizations and, um, for example, the um, participation at the book fairs is all covered by the, by the Ministry's finances. And uh, authors and illustrators and translators can participate with the help of cultural endowment. Um, um, the government uh, finances our big um, pride, the Estonian Children's Literature Centre. Um, and of course, uh, we are the Estonian uh, Literature Centre, which promotes grown-ups literature, but also the publishing house, which publishes 11 culture magazines and four newspapers. Uh, for example, the magazines for children, Dahaka, which has been around for 60, over 60 years, which is an achievement in itself. And it's really, really popular. Um, I think even the, the um, first classes have to read it. They don't have a choice, they just have to read it. So the next step is a um, magazine called Hialaps, which encourages young uh, writers to participate in, uh, uh, in the magazine's world and, and uh, write. So um, I think we are in a good good place at the moment to uh, embrace the challenge of being the guest of honor here in uh, Bologna. So I'm very, very proud of our organizations, our authors, translators and illustrators, and of course publishers, because if the books are not published, then you can't read them. So I'll give um, the floor to Gaidi. Kaiti Urmat is the head of the uh, Estonian Publishers Association.
Thank you, and hello. hello to everyone. And I would like to thank you, Elena, you and your staff as well. And on, the, on behalf of Estonian Publishers Association, I say that we are very proud to be here as a guest of honor next year. Thank you. Uh, I have some words about the publishing in Estonia as well. So. Uh, my uh, data are from uh, Statistics Estonia, so uh, they are official data from 2022. And I have to say that um, we had two years ago almost 800 publishing houses who produced, produced uh, books, but I have to say that 45 of them published more than 10 titles in a year. So uh, I can say that but most of our publishers are very small companies and self-publishing is very common. Uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. If I will talk about the titles or how many books we have in 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 year, so 2022 we had more than 3,000 books were published, and I have to say that almost half of them were fiction books. And uh, the average of the books were almost 700 cop co copies. So it means that the, the print runs all the time decreasing, but anyway, we have a lot of books. Uh, so 2020, we had, to compare the books 22 and 20, the decreasing was 12 points. So it's not nothing what makes us happy. But if we talk about the children's books, uh, two years ago we had nearly 900 titles, and the average of print run was 1,020. 200 copies, so it's it's very good number, and we are glad. And it seems that our parents want our children to read books. Uh, some words about the digital books as well. So two years ago, we had approximately 2,000 new titles of e-books. Um, e-books are not very popular in Estonia, but it seems that audiobooks is more popular and our people would like to listen with uh, this book. And one more figure, what I want to say is that uh, the VAT for our books, it means the printed books or e-books is 9%. And why, finally, one more important thing what we want to say is in Estonia we have one of the beautiful uh, bookshop in the world and in Europe, Rafa Ramat book. So we have the things that we have to could be proud. Thank you. And now I will give the floor to Trine Sona. Hello everyone, it's, it's a great pleasure to be here and thank you Elena for you, for your cooperation. <laughs> and as you mentioned, we have this wonderful center in Estonia. And as I know, it's quite unique and, and in other countries uh, they don't have this kind of uh, centers. It means that um, this is a central uh, professional institution in the field of uh, children literature. And we are lucky in Estonia <laughs> that we have this kind of institution. And um, the mission uh, of the, um, our center is, of course, to support uh, children and, and young people and, and um, to help them to, to growing up with uh, high quality uh, literature. And it means that the, our center is, uh, is a leader and promoting of uh, literature, but also reading, the reading is also is quite important. And uh, the children literature in Estonia is, as quite is just said, that, uh, that the numbers of titles printed per year, it's, the number is still uh, quite high. 
because um, if we compare it to our population, it's only 1.3 million, <laughs> and it's because Estonia is, is quite a small country. And uh, how we de divide it, it's 40% percent, uh, percent of them are originals and then 60% percent of our translations. And I think that now uh, the situation is uh, children lit literature is quite good in Estonia because um, the selection is rich, uh, both in terms and, and uh, of topics and, and genres. It's, it's, it's very nice. And we have a lot of authors, uh, both the writers and, and illustrators uh, from uh, different ages uh, uh, with their own uh, unique, st unique style. And I, I think also that the Estonian children uh, book, children books are very well designed and, and uh, on high quality and, and professionally illustrated. So the situation I think now uh, with our lit children literature is quite good and, and it's the it's best time to come to Bologna <laughs> to be a guest of honor here. And um, the main task of our center, what we do is, uh, of course, the first one is to develop the children literature and we have a special uh, creative competitions for uh, professionals. Uh, and also we, uh, of course, create networks, networks between uh, the authors and the publishers, uh, the publishers and the readers, um, between the libraries, uh, schools, and, and etc. So we encourage uh, young people to, to read. I think the uh, maybe the problem, so is uh, children reading, these are the same in Estonia, like, like in other countries. And uh, of course, we, what is our, one of our main tasks is to export the Estonian children uh, literature. And uh, books are born to be read, so uh, books need readers. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the reading uh, habits are, I think, based uh, on three um, main pillars. At first, of course, uh, variety, quality, and choice of books. Uh, if you want to read, you need the books. Then the uh, availability and uh, accessibility of uh, books, it means it's quite important to create good uh, networks between, as I said, with schools, with, with kindergartens, with families. It's, this, is, this is a very, very important thing now. And to promote uh, the, uh, the books, and how do we approach children with, with books in Estonia? Of course, we have a lot of reading programs, special educational programs. In our centre, many free time activities and also exhibitions and, and uh, creative competitions for uh, children. So, as I mentioned, we have both for the creative competition for professional to create new books and then, of course, to the, uh, the children because we need new young writers and illustrators. And also just some pictures uh, about our uh, events, a lot of celebrations, literature festivals quite popular in Estonia and we have several festivals. And just a few years ago, we started with book doctors, so we give the suggestions to the families and, and, um, and to the parents how to choose a book and to, to make uh, choices. We have a gift book for newborns. Uh, this is quite a successful uh, project. So it started just 10 years ago, so we sent this kind of specially designed uh, book trolleys for the, to the hospitals in Estonia. And these are still uh, quite uh, popular there. So, we are ready. We are ready to come to Polonia. And so Estonia's children literature is on its way to Polonia. And we just decided to say you, Tere. It means hello, ciao. <laughs> and uh, we have just small video about our main message. It seems to us that... Tere? Hello! 
is a common everyday word. A simple greeting that starts the story. But in reality, the impact of a simple hello is much greater. Ciao enriches and broadens the world. Hello. <laughs> Opens hearts, creates friendships, initiates stories. <laughs> is a joy. Oh, what a joy. All you have to do is say, Hello. And the new story begins. <laughs> Hello. There's nothing to add, dear ladies. Uh, I think that this is the best way to make us uh, eager to see what you will be bringing. Thank you so much. Uh, we have expectations, and uh, I'm pretty sure that you fulfill them all. Thank you so much. Thank you.